guys, welcome once more to another one coin only arcade challenge and today we're going to be doing a game called Asterix. It was brought out by Konami in 1992. So as always let's insert one coin only and see how we can do off one playthrough. I have played this game before, it's been a long time. Now we're going to pick Oblix because he's bigger, even though Asterix is a main character. I have a feeling I'll kick a little bit more ass with this guy. Now, um, for those of you who are a little young, this is based on a very comic book, uh, very popular comic book and cartoon in my childhood. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed after all these years. I don't really remember uh, the story too much about this. I mean, when I was in year one and two, some of my really, uh, really popular memories were skipping class. And yes, I did do that sometimes in year one and two. And I, I ducked down to my primary school's library. And they'd have every single Asterix comic in there. And I'd just sit down in the corner for hours just looking at all the pictures. Keep in mind, as a six-year-old, I didn't know how to read yet. Um, but, I mean, it was still a very, very fond memory. I do remember the comics, even though I couldn't read them. And 30 years ago, I did hire out a cartoon or two um, with the Asterix uh, stories on VHS. Um, but all these years later, I really don't remember a thing. So we're kind of going to this experience blind. But um, we just have to talk about the game anyway, and it's a typical cartoony Konami fighting game. Uh, a little bit more slapstick, a little bit more humorous. Um, the buttons are quite basic. I'm guessing this is supposed to appeal to both adults and children as well as fans of this series. You've got an attack button, and then you've got a jump button. Uh, you can double tap the directional button and you'll charge, and then if you hit an attack after that, um, you can do a special charge attack. So, I mean, the, the controls are incredibly basic, um, but totally functional. They don't need to be any more than what they are. Um, the game itself does feel quite hard, though. It feels very, very easy to get uh, hit and surrounded by enemies. So, it doesn't feel like uh, any playthroughs are going to last very, very long. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, how Captain America controlled by... Data, data East. The enemies' uh, hit collisions on you kind of feel really, really harsh. Um, it, it, it's, it's one of those typical fighting games where it feels like it's too easy for them to hit you before you hit them. Um, which is a real shame. Um, but I mean, as long as you've got plenty of coins handy, this still looks like a, a hell of a fun game to play if you're patient. And um, to be fair, you know, I might be being a little bit harsh because I've never really played this game that much before. Um, so, you know, I'll probably do better after some practice. In the end, all fighting games handle a little bit different. It looks like we've got a boss battle here already. Oh, just got owned then. Oh, that's it. Well, that was Asterix, guys. It's a shorty but a goody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, give this a try if you like fighting games. That's another one in the bag. And um, please subscribe, share this video to your friends, and tell them all about us. And we'll see you next time.